minutes and you take no prisoners. One minute you're up half a million in soybeans and the next boom. Your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your Bentley. Are you with me? The revolution starts now. Starts now. We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Turn those machines back on! We have to start by building a wall, a big, beautiful, powerful wall. Show me the money! You are fake news. Oh, good for you. And how was it? I don't know when they decided that they wanted to make a virtue out of selfishness. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth. See, that's what happens. Here at Like Fact Radio on the Revolution, you get cheesy ass openers. You know, I get bored in life. You know, just a little. I like it. So That's a great opener. I try. I couldn't help but the, you know throw the show me the money after that one thing. Uh-huh. You know about building a wall. That was awesome. Yeah. I know. I get bored. <laughs> just a little. Yeah. This is what I do. Right. Come up things like that. Then have you guys in the tie downs. Right. right. Are we on the air? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> no, you're not. This is just a figment of your imagination. Gosh darn. This happens all the time. I know. It happens, doesn't it? <laughs> denied. All right. What are we going to do here? <laughs> you like that? How yeah. I did deny? Yeah. yeah. Like it that. happens in that. Well, I want to start off first about where did your guys' name come up? It had to be some kind of interesting story. Well, besides his <laughs> feedback. Turn Damn your, bass turn players. Your turn your yeah. bass off. Awesome well, we started with like Are a, you sure? a thousand texts between Dennis and I back yeah. and forth with a lot of bad names. <laughs> he didn't like the B sharps. Not that the Tie Downs is a great name, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just the best one we could uh, figure out. But uh, I don't know. I mean, you just came up with it. And I it's said, it. that's it. And we were done. We're, what a tie down is. It's, I'm not talking load securement here. I'm not talking S and M. I'm a door to door salesperson by trade. Come yeah. closer. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm shy. I'm a door to door salesperson by trade. So a tie down is any type of question you ask someone where the only logical answer is a yes. Like, man, you like pe- cheese on your pizza, right? Absolutely. Yes. That's a tie down. Yeah. I just tied them down. Got an agreement with them. That's what a tie down is. That's right. where I got the, the idea. So I like that, but it means something different to me. So we've got an album coming out called Tied Down, March 9th. Kinky. The name of our band's The Tie Down, so isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's just going to get a little more awkward, you know. Okay. But anyway, the name of the album is called Tied Down. And uh, it's kind of like a metaphor for, like, all the, all the songs on the album are basically about different things that hold you back and tie you down in life. And, I got uh, you. It's kind of the theme of the album and, like, just about every song that's on it. So it just worked, and I that's what you. it means to me, but it's a sales pitch. There's a marketing term, I guess, yes. for... It's a marketing term. For Dennis. I are you sure? I my motorcycle, that's all it's, I know. So it's when the... the no matter, maybe. Should have brought your motorcycle in this. Me too. Are you going to do that Saturday? Oh, you know, I'm ready to. I'm going to see how it is. Okay. What's that? Let me do what your mo- or you know your wife and all that is thinking. Denied. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was single. <laughs> there you go. So you might as well throw it out there. That's right. Especially if they're watching that, they're going to be uh, thinking many different things. Let's see. Whoa. Uh, I do sit on the throne of lies. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> yeah, the chat box. Oh, cool. People going in that, going in there, already. I know. Gotta love the motion. Matt, you're noisy. Yeah, I know. Noisy. Anyway, we got Matt Angelone here on bass. Woo. Albert Rager yeah. here on drums. Dennis Downey on guitar. I'm Brian Hager. And and I should go into this. I've how did this Motley crew, you know, form? Oh my goodness. You like God, that? I, I had to go with the depth. answer to that. <laughs> it was kind of like Tinder. What? Wow, Tinder. <laughs> we were the A best, Tinder reference. We were the best match for each other. 
Wow. That's really? A, I don't have all night to explain that. Yeah, that's, one. A, that's a long one. <laughs> that's complicated. Yeah. Talk about us. I, I can explain it real, real simple. Brian and I used to be in a different band together called the Chromes. Matt is Brian's neighbor. Uh, Albert is buddies and, you, and is a band with our former bass player. Yeah. That's how it all came together. Right. We met Albert through the bass player of the Chromes, Playing Greg Bainline. Uh -huh. And then Matt was just my neighbor, and I found out he could play guitar, so I said, dude, you got to play in our band. But you got to play bass, sorry. Yeah, I got <laughs> well, he so plays a little guitar. Because we got two guitar players already. He plays bass. a little guitar. <laughs> guitar. Yeah, he does. He he's, does? True, he's, true. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. He's learning. It's a lot of people that hate on their basses. Yeah. You know, it happens a lot here. Just going to throw it out there. Besides Tim saying, yeah, you need to turn down that damn bass. Yep. Then, is Tom Brady softer than Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes. Is Tom Brady softer than Cristiano? I don't know what that is. Just say Soccer yes. player and football player. Cristiano Ronaldo, don't know who he is, but I guarantee you, he whines less than Tom Brady. <laughs> but Tom Brady's got the hotter wife, so. so <laughs> oh, God. The at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that escalated a lot farther than what I thought. I'm sorry, did I, did I keep it G-rated? <laughs> no, that's his ongoing question he asks anyone that comes in. Tim, <laughs> no, it's Tom Brady softer than Cristiano. It's a long story there. Cristiano never heard of her. Yeah, I don't know eh. soccer at all, so. It's okay, I don't know much either. Then he wants to know, what's your favorite place to play at? Oh. March 9th, Coda. That's yeah. where we're playing. That's my favorite place to play. It, you know what? That is a really great place to play. Yeah, Coda. I like that one. I keep it fresh there. You know, yeah, I just like um, it's clean. Mm -hmm. People like to go there. Atmosphere is good. The atmosphere is great. Mm -hmm. Food mm -hmm. next door at sushi, Ginko, yeah. the sushi. I'm going to mm -hmm. plug them right now. I love that place. <laughs> yeah. you know, my is, I can have sushi. I can play in a band. I can have great drinks. They make awesome drinks. Yeah. My um, second favorite place is Flash Gordon's. Oh, I'm sorry, they tore that down 20 years ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> wow. It's a CBS now. <laughs> Dory, I got gotcha. you. He's showing his age. <laughs> I know. He definitely is in that. I know you guys are itching to play. So oh, whatever, We yeah. can go to that. Can Come play. back with some more stuff. <laughs> and that. <laughs> more... <laughs> G-rated, you know, <laughs> jokes and that, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me get my cough on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. Get your cough on. Yeah, I have a bad cough. <coughs> All right. I'm ready to go. Are you? I, I can be. Hey, what's the song? This is Equanimity. Ready? One, two, one, two, three. It's all right, my bad. My bad. Wrong song. <laughs> oh, you know, I was playing I Love Rock and Roll, Joan Jett. Wrong one. My bad. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. Ready?
What, the studio crowd? You gotta appreciate that. Yeah, it's great to play in front of all these people. <laughs> we pay them very high, you know, very highly. Save to fit in very small spaces. Mm -hmm. Very small spaces. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Jump on. All right, let's do jump on. I just rearrange my um. here. All right, waiting for Matt. <clears throat> Alright, there's a song called Jump On. Right? Yes. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Special? I do. Every day Very I wake good. up. Every day I wake up. <laughs> I know. It don't get better than the tie-downs. No way. <laughs> uh -uh. 
We try. So the life in the tie down band. Oh, they're the most important. There you The wives, you yes, the wives need kudos. Well, kudos to my wife, Patty Hager. Hey. You know what? I second that, but I feel bad for her. <laughs> I'm sure she's at home listening oh to this because. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I'm going to put up with this, Patty. Whew. Yeah. We, we practice at Brian's house, so she feels all the pain. That also. Oh boy, oh boy. I gotcha. I gotcha. Just like one person. If you could compare yourself to one band, who would it be? I can't. That's hard. That's yeah, because we have such a what, mix in this Really band. what this is, this is like all the years of all the stuff I love just mixed together. I just got every influence of my whole life in this band. And, uh, I mean... Right now, I'm, I really like Nothing But Thieves. If you guys ever heard of that really cool newer band? But we have roots from mm. the Rolling Stones in this band. Yeah. We got David Bowie. We've got Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah. Um, A lot of my fills are like Kiss, gotcha. old stuff. Those are like all the Neil stuff Burt. I listen to, yeah. Yeah, Keith Moon, yeah. Keith Moon, yeah. Gotcha. A lot of alternative stuff uh -huh. from the 90s, all influenced. But. So I'll sort of go with this. Of your own work, the top three that would stand out that you would say are, you know, the top. You mean the songs? Yeah. Of your own work. I know I am a jerky and I. Wow. No, that's a, that's a tough that's question. Because, you know, he criticizes know. himself I, I... all the time. So <laughs> it's going to take a while. He likes everything. I don't everything. know how to answer that. Um, yeah. Well, compared it, it, to it changes, you know. Right now, I like equanimity and jump on. And yeah, jump on definitely. Insignificance, is a good one, I like. Yeah. We're gonna do that in a second here. Yeah, no one just plays jump on is really good. My, my, my favorite's always gonna be Voodoo Woman. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, Dennis wrote the music to I, Voodoo Woman. All right, it's I, of course, it's because of course the this one. Because so, of the subject matter. So I guess we are, we are playing good. our best hits for yeah, you right now. It's actually very good. Yeah, yeah, very material good. Too. yeah, it's new. And it's like all of us sure, are sure. bringing our own into the band yeah. now. You like how we all just talk over each other? It's just a room. That's what it we happens. do all the time. You got the microphone, I gotta talk loud. <laughs> I'm not even sure. That's what true. I don't even know if anybody hears you. Close that door over there. <laughs> you could help that on that note. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just make things a lot worse, don't I? Yeah. That's why we I like know. you. You're all right with us. <laughs> People are listening to this and go, ah, what a bunch of goofballs. <laughs> yeah. What's this but, song? What's this song we're going to play? We, get, we play the serious music, and but we're all a bunch of goofballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm having fun. It's a good. Yep. <laughs> it's all good. It's a good vibe. All right. This next song is um, in, in Significance.
track from our CD that's not released yet. Sound good? Yeah, that's fine. No, my headphones. Which one are you going to surprise mm-hmm. me with? What's that? Which one? Voodoo Woman. Voodoo Woman? All right. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> nah. Bass it's players' the, opinions don't matter. It's never <laughs> ruined. Matter Wait till they hear it. It's going to be very crap, special. Anybody's. Tell me when you're ready, Dennis. I'm ready now, brother. Oh. Well, I'm not ready now. I'm all hot up on my own dude. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> at, least I, at least I talk with Dr. Pepper. All right, right you goofballs ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That's you. One, two, three, four.
It's you really know that guy? No. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's awesome. <laughs> nah, I like that show. <laughs> Don't worry. I was going for 2500 No? All okay. Right. <laughs> Don't worry. I got something for you. How about this? So, if you had a choice to work with anyone that inspires you as a musician, mm -hmm. whether the right or play with, who would it be? Well, it would be Neil Peart. Damn. That's my inspiration. Neil Peart. All right, that's a good answer. Normally, always someone solves up on that. Just no. a little. I got Damn. I have my loyalty. <laughs> Mine is easy. What's huh? yours? Dwayne Eddy. I have no Dwayne idea who that is. Who's Dwayne Eddy? Nice. He'll play you some Dwayne Eddy music later. It's a little bit before our time. It's from the 50s, early 60s. Okay. Rock All right. Is he alive? Is he alive? Probably not. <laughs> That's why I want to work with him. So I can go sit next to him. He'll be Yeah, because that would be a little hard if he's not. work. It's great. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite wow. artists is my answer mm -hmm. is uh, Butch Walker. I'm a big fan of okay. Butch Walker. Butch Walker is a big producer. He produced uh, stuff by... He actually just did Weezer's newest album. He's yeah. produced uh, Avril Lavigne and Pink, and he's a solo artist. And his, I love his solo yeah. stuff. It's great. Can I change my answer? <laughs> I don't know. No, can actually, you? I'm being can I have an answer? <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can you have? Can no, you he, he can finish. I'll go last. Go Lady Gaga, man. The pipes in that lady are great. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead. Tell us about your person. Rest in peace, sir, Stevie Ray Vaughan. There you go. Oh, yeah. If I could huh? play with him, if he was still around, that would be the dream, man. Yeah. Well, play like Tonkas? Or? All right, yeah, because Matt, Matt is a guitar player at heart and a very good one. Yes, yeah. I like the blues. And he's he got that Stevie Ray thing going a little bit there. Yeah, Brian says, if I don't keep up my chops, he's replaced me with Matt, so i got to keep on the on <laughs> And you're going to play bass. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> might be better than me, honestly. <laughs> wow. Way to throw yourself under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. How about this? What first got you in, into music? My dad bought me acoustic guitar when I was eight years old. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> and then a couple years later, my stepbrother slammed, broke it over my back. I don't, I don't remember what we were doing, but uh, he was That's chasing mean. me up the stairs, and he That's crashed mean. it right on my back. I was pissed. Yeah. I can't say that, can I? No. <laughs> but it's too late now. Oops, call the FCC. Oh, no. Yeah. Man, We're coming for you. Uh-oh. I'll coming. never be on this station again. No. <laughs> well, hey, you at least made it on the wall over there, so you're all right already. Yeah. You're good. Your poster's coming down tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen at, like, one in the morning. <laughs> in the middle of darkness. What's that? I'm zoned out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You'll just have to go back and find out. Listen later. We're just going to, you know, yeah, not say mind. anything. I'll hear You'll it just later. Have to, uh, yeah, you're oh, just going to go back and listen to it. That's why I zoned out. Yeah. So you're going to think, damn, is he serious? <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe. Maybe I'll find out later when I listen. <laughs> True. Maybe I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, It'll be okay. funny when he goes back yeah. and looks it up. Great. Yeah, I would be that person. <laughs> yeah, I am that It'd person. Alter. It'll be altered. It'll be something really freaking weird. No. Yeah. Not really. Awkward, maybe, a little, but, okay. you know. Awkward for you, not us. <laughs> I know. I make things a lot worse. That's what I'm here That's for. Right. That's your Not job. Really. That's your job. So, if people want to check you guys out, where should they go? Oh, good question. He's zoned out right now. Um, probably <laughs> yeah. the best place would be our Facebook site, but we do have a website, thetiedowns.com. Facebook.com slash thetiedowns. There's stuff there. We have Instagram, too. We have tie downs on Instagram. I'll be making a Twitter page very soon. But at, at March 9th, I keep bringing up that date because our, our uh, release comes out then. Yep. It'll be mm -hmm. all over, like, 
Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, mm-hmm. all those, all that jazz. So that's that would be a, a great place to hear us. Just type in the tie downs on one of one of those. Fair enough. After March 9th. After March 9th? What happens if I do it before? You won't find anything. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing in a little of a nutshell. Yeah. Perfection takes a while. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It does. I'm my own worst critic every once in a while. There's also something I would like to mention. Yes, do I would this? really appreciate if people continue to look us up on Google, because some days you look up the tie downs and you see load securement stuff. Sometimes you see us, and every now and again you see sales manuals. So keep researching the tie downs band, and you'll keep us up on the top of the True, research. true. Right, true, and true. you could check us out, and you could buy some tie downs for your truck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we should market some tie downs with the words "the tie." Yeah, yes. Now, now we're talking. Now, now we got a good marketing idea. We'll be making money while we nice. sleep. Nice. <laughs> that's our personal Gene Simmons <laughs> marketing genius. <laughs> I could see this actually happening. That's a sad part. <laughs> Especially with those three, I could my, tell 100%. My wheels, are moving. my wheels are moving. I love this band. This is a great band, the tie downs. Oh, I need some of these for my truck, too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so all of a sudden, they're not listening to us anymore, and they're buying tie down straps. They're loading yeah. their they're their own own it on your website. Making their own music. Yeah. Load secure and stuff. Come on. Think about so, that for a second. What was the inspiration of this upcoming EP? struggle it's it's lots of struggle yeah lots of it's actually really dark the uh, the words are dark a lot of personal things that I just I use music to express my things that are upsetting me and that's the inspiration it was literally an outlet and uh, you know there's a song in here that a couple no jump on insignificance two songs that were actually written a long time ago, and I had to give kudos to Dean Spanos, who wrote the words for Jump On and Insignificance. But it's, just, it's the same theme. Jump On Jump On is about you know, not fulfilling your dreams and not having basically the guts to fulfill your dreams. Insignificance is about living a corporate life and just being a slave to your cubicle all day. And he wrote uh-huh. both those, and that's really like that and there's equanimity equanimity is really personal it's about basically some dark depression that I've gone went through tell them what the word means Brian equanimity it means like tranquility peace a state and, of yeah, a state, state of, of like, yeah, like being peaceful yes that's what I was searching for when I wrote the song I gotcha tell them what Voodoo Woman's about life is easy life is easy is a little bit about ignorance you wrote that about me? <laughs> I thought it was about me. <laughs> you guys are so big-headed. <laughs> are no, you sure? <laughs> are you really sure? It's actually it's, out. <laughs> actually, nobody in this band, I, I, it, it was a, no. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to get into it, but you guys got to listen to the CD. That comes out March 9th. March 9th. 9th. There you go. If you have one place that you can perform anywhere, United States, the world, mm-hmm. where would it be? Wow. I guess different for all of us, really. Yeah. Don't worry. I got you on cue. <laughs> you mean, where would, I, where would we be, like, permanently or just for a big Oh, if you could play anywhere. Oh, play anywhere? One place. Austin City, Austin City Limits. Austin City Limits? God, I never thought of this question. I just want to play everywhere. Well, I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say the what's the, the arena downtown? The Q. The Q. What is the Q? <laughs> Except he didn't say what. Actually, is. I want to go back it. to my high school. Let's say that. I got it. <laughs> There's no lifelines in Jeopardy. <laughs> Come on! I'm you should trying. know better than that. Oh, all right, no. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with uh, my answer. Q? Yeah, I really don't want to play there, but it's not like I think of it. Artificial answer. Wow. I'd play in Europe, probably Italy. Italy? Gotcha. 
I got gotcha. you. I like small clubs. A cool small club somewhere. That's probably the yeah. right answer. I want to go right. back to the old CBGB in New York. You know, there that'd you be go. nice. I like to play there. That's a good one. Yeah. Except the one thing none of you guys realized. How does Jeopardy and the Price is Right Wronghorn have anything in common? God, you guys were late on that. Wronghorn, Price is Right, and Jeopardy? <laughs> yeah, the, the Wronghorn that went after that. Yeah. Didn't know. I don't watch a whole lot of daytime TV. I don't either. <laughs> I just pulled up the random spell bits. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jeez. I was waiting for someone to say that. God. <laughs> People. God. <laughs> it sort of happens. Now, you want to go to one from the track or CD? Yeah, that would be great. Any preference on which one? Um, Equanimity. This would be our single. It was what? Wasn't that the, the first second? one? Yeah. It starts to eat. Okay. <laughs>
guys. Want to go to jump on it next? Even though they're not listening, we'll do that for you. Yeah. You have anything to say, someone? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is going out for my sister Kathy Connolly and uh, Tim Connolly. Thank you for your support uh, with all my bands and everything you do for me, and especially uh, with my cancer that you're helping me with. So I really appreciate you guys. You're true. true. <laughs> I know they're not even paying attention. It's kind of funny. It's, it's kind of funny. Don't worry, I, I'll just go and do this for them. All right. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. In here. I don't know where you're at. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah? What's up? Oh. Yeah, you're Mike. I had to make sure that was on. Oh, okay. Now you're good. Very nice. Especially, how long has that taken to mix? Or the final? Uh, too long. Too um, long? A lot of hours mixing that one. Definitely gonna, shows. I, I really couldn't even give you a number. It's been going on. I don't know that one we just re jump on. We just recorded yeah. that not too long ago. Mm -hmm. That was probably three weeks ago. We started it. Yeah. It's done. Nice. Everything it seems like uh, when we all get together, we 
we listen to his idea, whatever Brian has, and, and from there we just do the basics and then we keep moving and moving on and moving on and, until we all find ourselves and Brian has right. the last say of where we're at and how yeah. he's feeling it going. Like a lot of times I'll demo the sure, songs sure. and give them to everybody, yeah. but it's just a lot of times just an acoustic guitar yep. in my singing. And that, that song has been demoed before and it was slower yeah. and we redid it. Yep. And it went really quick after that. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that uh, when we get together writing wise, it just comes together really quick. Like these newer songs you heard, two, three, maybe months that we brought it down. I mean, in two, three weeks, we're ready to go with the lyrics and, and everything that we think it's going to be. Yeah, I'll, but, I'll introduce damn. the song. I'll bring That's it. That's quick. But yeah. I spend so much time on my own, like like equanimity. Like I, sp I spent a lot of time crafting the song, just with an acoustic guitar and my vocals. Right. Before so, even uh, going through all everyone, that. Yeah, yeah. Before anyone even hears it, I'm rearranging the words. Um, I just I start with just a, a scrapbook of just thoughts and mm -hmm. then it just it slowly whittles I whittle it into lyrics. Yeah. It's, it's a process. You. Then when I get to that point then I give it to the band, then it's quick after that. Yep. And then I do a lot I of open you. mics and I go I go try the stuff out in open mics and so see if it I, sticks, if it's adjustments or little yeah. tweaks and that. Yeah. And I it just changes changes a little bit, but sometimes I play it out a lot open mics did open mics before yep. and that's a lot of people sort of or yeah. started doing that it's a lot of yeah. people there's so many talented artists in the cleveland area right now doing open mic i can't believe it i've been doing this a while and too long like i can <clears> think back 20 years ago and i can't remember there being so many talent talented uh -huh. artists i've seen it open mics i mean there's so many good artists yeah so for yeah. me, I'm from New Jersey, so when I got here, I, I was just blown away by how many great musicians are in uh, the Cleveland area. I am just blown away. I, every time I turn around, I meet, and there's a lot sure. of young, young, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm older. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an old guy, so. <laughs> in his 30s. Right, whatever. No, I just turned 30, so, yeah, you know. But, uh, We're on the same boat there. Yeah. There's a lot of people in their early 20s a I mean, lot of an open mic scene right now that are just great and yeah. 10 years ago they probably weren't doing it because they were 10 to 15 years old but there's so many and mikey it's silas amazing is too I, amazing i'll have to give kudos to mikey silas matt matt miller is another one and there's brent kirby True. who's been around for a long time it's great there's megan stepka who does a fabulous job uh yeah she was bringing. just in here in oh, november yeah. Yeah. Late November. Yeah. Michelle Gaw, she's really good. I don't know if you had her in here yet. Yeah. I see you have Yost right up there. I know those guys are great people. We haven't had them yet in the studio. Really? You should. No, yeah, yeah. The one time something happened, then the other time they ended up calling because their car broke down while oh, they were going to come up here. And they did like a short 20 minute interview. But yeah. I was more concerned of. Maybe get off the side of the road first. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> a little more important. Just a little. Right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're... Who else you got up here on the wall? You, you, uh, I see Megan right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. She's, next, she's sitting right next to me there. All right. Oh, cute. Isn't that sweet? And these are all randomly picked. Yeah. Off of everyone's Facebook pages. Well, why don't you go through and tell me who some of these people are? Hmm? Who, who are some of these people? Uh, point the one. Tell me. Um, this guy right here. Him? With the guitar in his hand. He's got no hair. Ebidor Fallis. Ebidor Fallis. Singer-songwriter. Oh, yeah? Cleveland? He you actually, know? he lives in Conneaut. But he's oh. around here. Okay, well, that's Cleveland area. It's yeah. Northeast Ohio. Well, who's next to him on the right? That's Yosemite. Yeah. Who? Yosemite. Yosemite. See, yeah. there's so many. There's so My many OAC. that I've met. There's so yeah. many I haven't mm -hmm. met. I, I Every time actually, I turn around. I would actually say that Luke Bergen is probably the best guitar player. Oh, yeah? Luke he won't Bergen. admit it, though. I think. Huh? Is, that, uh, is that Ray Flanagan up there? No, is that he, Michael Stanley? Wait, On the top, one? the top left. All the way to the left, all the way to the top. 
No, that's Joey Liberator. Okay. Yeah. Did you have Ray Flanagan in here yet? Ray Flanagan. I know I messaged him. I don't think he ever responded. Oh. I swear I have before. Or we might have talked, but things just never worked out. Mm. One or the other. I'm over here name dropping. Yeah, play the... You would be surprised how many people I can name off the top of my head. Oh, yeah? Wow. Off of that wall. Go ahead. Let me just hear some more. I'm... Like that one you see right there. That's sort of like that purplish look in that. Yeah. That you sort of looks like Willoughby there. Yeah. That's the Willoughby. Aaron Burke. Right? Yeah. Aaron Burke. She actually released something new. Okay. Cool. Right next to her top right. That would be Colored Noise. Color it's sort of, noise. Yeah. Who's the guy with the teal uh, telly? Actually, Bill the Sheeb. Morning. Bill Sheeb. He actually just released two or three, two or three new tracks. Yeah. He was actually here last yeah November, November, October. Yeah. yeah. I'm flattered that you got me up there with Travis, which is great. Travis is, Travis is awesome. Great. Wonderful. He's been really good to me. But you gotta get the tie downs up here. That was my plan. <laughs> All right. Dude, it ran out of time this today. He wanted to put it up after we were gone. He was afraid we were staying right home. Picture. And we could have said, "Hey, there we are, right there." Well, normally I try to do it before, but every yeah. once in a while I'd never pay it. Like today, I was in and out of like three different meetings, yeah. class, and didn't work out today. It's all good, brother. Well, Don't worry. Next Within time. the next 48 hours. Stupid, beautiful heaven over there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We play with them at Coda. Oh, my really gosh. Nice. They're awesome. Yeah, they, they've been up here <laughs> oh, at least four, four or five. Oh, yeah. What about uh, the lowlies? Oh, yeah, those. You got a picture of them? Yeah, Ed and that? I know Chris. They should be up here. You know Chip. Yeah. Fisk, he's played here. He's his amp, the last time they were here, his, his, eye his eye. amp he had over there in a the quarter actually cracked <laughs> In, oh, after the first song, well, <laughs> my mic went, the mic wire went out too. No. So, yeah, his amp like died on the last like 30 seconds of the song. Go back to go on my mic and it's dead. So, it's like, it was pretty damn coincidental. Ah, how did he recover from that? He didn't, did he? No, he just hurried up and, you know, plugged this thing in. It went and grabbed one of their tracks off. In the computer, oh, okay. played that yeah. so I nice. could direct plug his thing nice. in. Yeah, it was pretty sadly coincidentally that does something dumb like that happening. Uh -huh. Yeah, true, true. Uh, look at else who that place looks familiar. I'm not sure. Right here, where is this at? I'm not sure where the place is. That's I know the group. It's an east side bar, I think. I'd... Probably. Um. Yeah, that was Beautiful. Hockey Talk Angels. Yeah. Okay. I like that base rig. That's cool. East Side Bar looks like the beach one almost. The front stage. I know. Shoot. Who? It's one or two pictures of beach one. Someplace in here. I know that. Or I know I replaced one of someone's picture because it sort of looked a little out of date before the end of last semester what are you going to do when you're out of space who are you going to take down yeah. to make space for the new one every <laughs> once in a while it's been here and there like some people yeah, we don't really don't say much the yeah it just that quietly takes someone down but then here and there it's the people that decide you know they sort of break up in that. That. Oh yeah. 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 It's been a few that haven't ran into that problem yet. Or the ones that you know they just came up, but then something happened, they fell apart. Yeah. So that's one answer to that. <laughs> Don't really advertise that, you know, <laughs> that big. But yeah. You have anyone else you want to ask me who they are or not? Um, a lot of them, most of them, I would say I don't know. So, yeah, any of them. Educate me. The Cavs hat, you got Carnage body bag. Oh, okay. That's him. 
Hey, the singer-songwriter over here next to the Fox 8 studio one, that's Taylor Lamborn. You had Dear Jimmy was actually oh, the last yeah, one met, that had electronic drum in here. I met Taylor. I met Taylor. I didn't recognize her in the picture. It's well, that picture's here. like... I met her at CODA doing open mic. That was... She was fantastic. Oh, fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. 2013? That, that picture's been up there? Yeah. Who's... Except it switched its places oh, on the wall. Is that Ryan Anderson playing on Fox Eight? Who is who's on uh, the rocks Fox Eight there? What? That's Dear Jimmy. Is Ryan Anderson in it? Yeah. yeah. They're no, coincidental. That's not Ryan. Anderson. Or wait, that's not Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson oh, is person. a uh, fantastic musician um, who plays guitar. He uses a lot of loops, and. Uh, it's, it's it's all music, and he plays all over Cleveland. And no, Michael here. McFarlane. Yeah. Oh, Michael. I know Michael. He's been up here Michael's a lot. Great. Yeah. Yeah, no. you got. It's all people from all over. Yeah. So. It's a lot of history on the walls. Yeah, there is. Not including some that are newer, some. Like Taylor, she. It's very few people from when we first started that back in like 2013, that spring, mm -hmm. putting them up. That's one of our oldest pictures up there. She's. I, I can't understand how can she how she can sing so damn well. What's her name? I'm like, true, true. whoa. Taylor Lamborn. Taylor uh, Lamborn. I used great. to play with her. Yeah, you know Taylor. Yeah, yeah she's I know great. Her very well. Oh, that's like Matt. He's down there. I know I had a picture Matt of who? Gaw someplace. Matt Miller. Miller, yeah. Oh, right there? Yeah. Oh. He's he had like a hat, a, Matt's red a jacket. I've seen so many pictures of Matt, and he looks different in every one. That's like... I wouldn't even know that was him. Two or three years. Or so. We're talking about these people. I'm going to go, like, what are you talking to me on the radio for? <laughs> You know, we just Wait decided to bother him just I, a little. Right. We're right here. We oh. are right here. We are? That's I right. Am. All right, we are down there. I just saw me. I'm right <gasps> you were just know. blocking yourself. Yeah, well, yeah. you know what? I was just looking up at my family. I was like, hey, I, look, I know that guy. That's me. All right. We've so made, I did update that. We made the wall. We did. We, we were on the wall. Way earlier. We were right there. Right. Sorry for getting on your case about it. I know that guy. I didn't remember <laughs> if I did or not. I know that guy. That must have been like before New Year's. Oh, I it happens. I yeah. yeah. I know that guy. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes he makes me very mad. I don't want to know him. <laughs> Better watch out. You're going to get it. <laughs> out in the dark alley in the corner. I got gotcha. you. True, true. So, anything else you want to cover? Is that everything? I gave you I a list. Think. I think I covered yeah. everything, yeah. I know we hit about Dakota and that, that yeah. show. Yeah, March 8th, release. we have a, uh, it's, it's $5 in advance. If oh, we never did that. It's $7 at the door, March 9th. Um, the link to get tickets is on our Facebook page on the events. So facebook.com slash the tie downs. If you pull up the uh, the event for the Coda show on March 9th, the link is in there to get tickets. If you want to give them in advance, save yourself a couple dollars. True, true. I'm going to say something. Hey, hey, Tori, if you're listening, I'll be home in like an hour. <laughs> Let Avery know I'll talk her in when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm home, Dad. <laughs> Hey, you better, First. you better say something. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> Not bass drummers. Uh, or, uh, wow. Bass drummers. Bass guitar players, yeah. whatever. I don't know. I don't know how I blended that. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, playing bass in the band is great. I've done it. I love it. Had a blast. Cue up with the, you know, Dennis Urich? You know Vandy Crash? No. Got a Vandy Crash in here. Vandy Crash is great. Thanks. Matt plays guitar mm -hmm. in Vandy Crash. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I used to play in Vanity Crash. I was played. I played in Vanity Crash for probably ten years or so. Okay. And Matt has taken over my spot on guitar. 
so I can pursue my dreams. Oh. Doing other stuff. All right. True, true. <clears throat> I got you. I got you. You know who you need to check out that's local? I haven't seen a wall. Reverend Morbid. It's my good, my real good buddy, my, my brother, Mike Damon. Excellent musician. Okay. Good dude. True. You retired from playing online, but check his stuff out. He's putting a new album out sometime this year. Hopefully this year. And this is what we're, we'll be around. I'll cool. definitely check that out. Well, that's like November, April. We get massive, especially April's more. Like last April, we had like 53, 55 different local musicians in and out in that month. Mm. Oh, yeah. It was huge turnover. Um, Turn around. Yeah. 55 the dags, oh, yeah. in April. There's only 30 days in April, right? Oh, it was multiple days, dude. Wow. Sometimes it was, what was it, the f- second day of April? <laughs> and after April 1st last year, we had like six singer-songwriters. Michael, Axel. Kim Kennedy, you got um, Shy Moon down yeah. that list. I would, uh... Abador, he was one of them. Then Sean Benjamin. Yeah, it was just one after another, and we didn't coincidentally wow. schedule them. That's great. They just schedule themselves and mm-hmm. after one another. Yeah, it's put in the hard work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. You uh, put this together pretty quickly. Oh, before I. You've done it a few times. Well, th- <laughs> I'll put this back because I actually took over this place in like 2010. We couldn't even get someone to drop off a CD. Literally. Really? Wow. Yeah, we changed the name, all that. Yeah. Couldn't even get someone to drop off a CD. So here you are nine years later. Look at your yeah. wall. Yeah. Not only running all that live. 55 mm-hmm. artists in one month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The first time we actually had musicians in that survey, and we ended up doing like a week thing that we only had like 27. Taylor was one of them. 27 in and out in a week. Mm. We did 40 in a week. That was like back in 2015 nice. in April. Wow. Just imagine 40 people in and out. In seven days. <laughs> Actually, five days. Five days, right. Re- most right. people work on the weekends here. So, uh-huh. yeah, Monday through Friday. Well, that would tear down too. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. All right. Well, if yeah. you, um, we would be. Glad to come back That's again. Right. Oh, I'd definitely. Love to come in with my acoustic guitar and do some stuff too by myself. If you'd be great, we can set that up. Me, that yep. would be awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely. We'll be in touch. We I have you in our big giant long emailing right. list. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. It's okay. true. So, it's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you, Absolutely. Thank you. Good yeah. laughs. Yeah. Good Absolutely. stories. Good yeah. music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good you. preview of music. That's right. <laughs> Can't mention, you know, you can't forget to mention that, you right, know, the sneak peek the of it. That was the world premiere. Yeah. That's the first time that has been heard by anyone except for us. That's right. I like it. See? Definitely yeah. like, like it, man. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. We'll catch you guys at some point in time down the line. Right. Yeah, you Thank will. you so Not much. Not that long. Keep it real. <laughs>